Welcome to this presentation of Autodesk Ecotext Analysis 2010, Autodesk's solution for conceptual building performance analysis. Let's now look then at some of the global trends which are really making people think about how they design more sustainability. So one of those of course is climate change. Buildings are responsible for a significant amount of the greenhouse gases contributing to global warming and climate change. If we're to halt climate change, we need to address the performance of buildings and reduce their energy demands. There is, of course, also scarce resources. The unrelenting demand for energy, water and raw materials has presented real economic and environmental challenges. This really needs to be addressed. Then we have the situation with the global economy, and really we have some intersecting trends here. With the downturn in the global economy and rising fuel costs, we see clients requiring better performing buildings which are cheaper to run and that are nicer places in which to work, live or play because that's going to make them easier to sell or lease. In addition to that though, the governments of the world have also formed economic stimulus packages based on green technologies. Let's now move on and talk a little bit more about sustainable design. It is then a very complex subject. There are many decisions and choices that need to be made to look when you make a development more sustainable. Energy reduction is a significant factor, but there are other social, ecological and environmental factors to consider as well. How best to take advantage of the resources such as water, how to use materials that have a low impact that are certainly from renewable resources, how to best use the land and the environment on which the building sits. And these decisions really need to be taken at the earliest possible stages. If you're going to stand a chance of making the most sustainable building possible, you really need to make decisions at the conceptual stage onwards. And that's going to require you to have information to help you make informed decisions. And this is really where Autodesk Ecotect Analysis comes in. The origins of the product were to bring analysis to the early stages of design. So it's really focused on how to bring analysis to all stakeholders, not just engineers, but now architects as well. How to do that from the conceptual stage onwards, considering many different aspects, but also doing it in an environment which is very visually rich, that can be used by many different people to understand the results of the analysis. And finally, to help support the Revit BIM workflow, so that the data from Revit can be reused for analysis purposes. We have a product centre available for Ecotect Analysis today. You can go there to download white papers and frequently asked questions. And also, there are some training toolkits and a demo toolkit available. These are available for you to download and use with Ecotect Analysis 2010. The training packages will take you through some of the main areas of analysis that Ecotect is capable of, allowing you to get started very, very quickly. On that site, we also have a guide to sustainable design so you can understand some of the decisions that need to be taken at different stages of the design and what Autodesk products can help you make those decisions. So let's move on now and talk a bit more about the Ecotect Analysis desktop product. So what we have then is a product that's very visually rich that can perform many different types of analysis. Some of the main ones that you can see they're listed. Solar, lighting, thermal, acoustic, visual access impact, among others. So if we were to talk about solar analysis then, you know, how is the building working in terms of shadowing and reflections? Is it overshadowing neighbouring buildings? How can you optimise shading devices? How can you take advantage of sunlight or, or radiation that a building's receiving? So maybe you want to take advantage of that for renewable energy resources, or maybe you want to protect against overheating. From a lighting point of view, what is the light like within the space? Can you take advantage of daylight to reduce the requirement for powered light? What are the illuminance levels? And also, what is the impact of your development on the neighbouring area? Are you taking access to daylight away from the neighbouring buildings? These are all factors that can be worked through with Ecotect analysis. With thermal analysis then, Ecotect analysis is very capable of doing very quick iterations very, very flexible to understand you know, what are the heating and cooling loads of the building likely to be. You can start to make choices around construction. If I change a roof, is it going to have a significant impact on the heating and cooling loads? 
And by working through many different options very, very quickly, you can do many more what-if scenarios to get to the best point. With acoustic analysis then, how does sound move around a space? Where are you getting problems? Where is echo being caused? How can you position reflectors to best move that sound around the space? And also, visual access and impact. What is the impact of your development visually on others? So from a point in the city, how much of your building can you see? Can you see a national monument from certain parts of your building? What is the access to outside views like? Giving you a good understanding of perhaps the quality of life within the building itself. So that's the Ecotect Analysis desktop product. With Ecotect Analysis, we have a second part, which is a web part. This is the Green Building Studio web service, available to subscription customers. This is a web service that enables you to upload GBXML models from Revit and start to perform from the earliest stages whole building energy analysis, trying to determine how you can go about reducing the carbon emissions for the building. So if you can reduce the energy usage, how much carbon emissions can you reduce from the power plants that are supplying that energy? If you introduce on-site renewables, again, how is that going to impact the energy demands of the building? Let's move on then and talk a little bit about moving data into Ecotect Analysis. So Ecotect Analysis does have its own 3D modeling capability. If, of course, you're already in a 3D environment in AutoCAD or the Revit products, you can move that data into Ecotect and start using it for analysis. So if you're doing the type of analysis that only requires geometry, you can move that using DXF. So things like shadowing, lighting and daylight analysis will take advantage of geometry only. If you're looking to do the type of analysis that needs something called a space-based model, then you can use GBXML exported from AutoCAD Architecture or Revit Architecture or MEP. You'll need this for analysis such as thermal performance or how much solar radiation is being transmitted into a space. And when it comes to modelling, our Green Building Studio team have done some analysis of their own. They've shown that for whole building energy analysis, there really isn't a significant difference between a low detail model and a high detail model. So balancing out the amount of modelling time, you're not really going to see a significant difference at the conceptual stage with the results that you need to understand energy usage. So that concludes a brief overview of Autodesk Ecotect Analysis 2010.